What is up, guys? Welcome to our week one team builder for the NBA. This week we are playing against Kit and the Nebraska Natus. Nebraska. I think I said Nebraska. <laughs> that was a very strange accent there. But yes, anyway, uh, get hyped. This is our first week in the NBA. I am very excited to bring you guys this uh, this team builder. Came up with a very good team with uh, the help of uh, Johnny. Shoutouts to you, man. Thank you so much for helping me with this team. I actually had a test game against Jar. Uh, and this team performed rather well uh, against that team. We had to like restart it a couple of times because he didn't have EVs on his Kirim and things like that. Anyway, uh, let's just bring up the team. On our side, we are bringing our Mamoswine, Scizor, Tyrantrum, Hydreigon, Slowbro, and Thunderous. And my opponent has, that you will see come up on the right side, of course, Lando T, Magnazone, Kirim, Rotom Heat, Gastrodon, Granbull, Mega Slowbro, Ferrothorn, and Blissey. Golbat and Cryogonal. Now, at first glance, the offensive core shreds me with uh, Lando T, Magnazone, and Kirim, as well as Rotom Heat. And then the defensive core is just annoying with Gastrodon, Mega Slowbro, Ferrothorn, Blissey, and Golbat. That is so hard to beat. Uh, the, the thing is, though, my opponent can only bring six Pokemon. And so can we. So, we brought a, po a combination of six that can pretty much beat any combination of six that she brings. And uh, let's get right into it. We have our Mamoswine here. Life Orb Mamoswine. Thick fat to be able to heat up a hit. Heat. No, not heat up a hit from Rotom Heat. Eat up a hit from Rotom Heat. Be able to fire back with a Stone Edge. Uh, obviously, we can get burned from Will O Wisp. That would be unfortunate. But uh, we're rocking Stealth Rocks. This is our Stealth Rock setter this week. We need to get up these Stealth Rocks and we need to pressure Kit as quickly as possible with hazards. They ensure KOs. On certain Pokemon with the investment that we have as you guys can see we're also rocking superpower which hits the Magnazone our speed investment also allows us to outspeed non scarf Magnazone at max speed we are rocking uh, the 252 plus attack this allows us superpower to uh, two hit KO Blissey uh, it uh, Ferrothorn can only come in on it once uh, it also deals massive damage to Rotom Heat if that decides to switch in on us. Basically, uh, Kirim as well. She has a very big fighting weakness on her team that we're going to try to exploit. Uh, basically, I believe four of our Pokemon are rocking fi fighting moves, three of which are Superpower this week. So you guys will see that in a bit, but that's what Superpower is there for. I opted not to run Earthquake, Johnny's suggestion, uh, because the only thing it really hits harder than Superpower is the Magnazone, which we can Oko with Superpower anyway, so it doesn't matter. Rotom Heat is off the ground, so we won't be going for that. Uh, Ferrothorn takes them like nothing, so does Slowbro. Uh, Blissey can also take two Earthquakes. We can't hit the Golbat, and it's weaker on Cryogonal, so... Like I said, she's also got the Cryogonal that's weak to fighting. It's insane how weak her team is to fighting. She does have very good resists, but uh, Freeze Dry covers some of those resists. Uh, not resist, but good walls to take the superpower, such as Gastrodon. That does not take a freeze dry from the investment that we have. We are Naughty Nature with 67, uh, sorry, 76 uh, special attack. Be able to Oko a non Yachi Berry Gastron and a non Yachi Berry offensive Lando T, which is what I'm expecting her to bring if she does bring the Landorus. Not a defensive set because it doesn't do very well against my team. Uh, it doesn't do much damage to the Slowbro. It's outsped by the Thunderous and the Hydreigon. So. Couple of things here that could uh, definitely beat that Lando if it's not Scarf. The next Pokemon we're deciding to bring is Scizor. Now, sh you you see her team. She has a Magnazone. This is typically not a very good bring, but we are bringing Max Attack, Adamant, 36 HP, 220 speed. Once again, hitting that 241, able to outspeed a non-Scarfed Magnazone. So, if it's Specs, it can knock us out with HP Fire, but we can knock it out first with Super Power. If it's Sturdy Specs. And she calls me on that, uh, then we're gonna have to get up rocks to be able to break that sturdy, obviously. And we are able to take it out with the superpower at max attack adamant. U turn is there for momentum, as the typical switch to a scissor will usually be Lando T, especially if it's defensive. Otherwise, Rotom Heat, as well, is also a very good switch. U turn gives us initiative, able to bring us into either our Tyrantrum or a Mamoswine to be able to hit that thing extremely hard if it is defensive. And uh, Bug Bite is there for general coverage, be able to hit the Slowbro without having to actually switch out. Uh, it also hits the Blissey pretty hard, the Ferrothorn, if I don't want to lower my attack with Superpower. Uh, hits the Cryogonal, hits a lot of things. It's mostly for the Slowbro so that I don't have to switch out on it. With the Technician boost, goes up to a base 90 move. With 438 attack, even Mega Slowbro is not taking that very well, I can tell you that much. 
So that's our scissor set this week. Of course, technician to boost that bug bite. Uh, we're not running uh, anything else on here. Uh, should I make it light metal before Mega Evolution? Does she have the threat of anything having low kick? Not really. Okay. So moving on into our next Pokemon. Johnny and I decided that a Shookaberry Tyrantrum with the combination of Head Smash, Fire Fang, and Ice Fang with Dragon Dance would be able to do pretty good things to her team. After two Dragon Dances, I'm able to outspeed Lando T and take it out with an Ice Fang even with the Intimidate drop. I'll be up plus one if I get up two Dragon Dances. And we can live an Earthquake uh, from Lando because of the Shookaberry, barring crit, I believe. Uh, actually, we might even be able to live a crit, so this is pretty good. Fire Fang is, of course, to hit the Cryogonal. Uh, if I don't want to miss Head Smash, it has a little bit of a higher accuracy. It has, like, 95. It's also hit the Ferrothorn, of course. Uh, Head Smash is there just for the... Uh, sorry, Fire Fang is also there for the Magnezone to be able to hit it super effectively. Uh, Head Smash is there for the Kyurem, for the Rotom Heat. It's my strongest stab move, uh, my strongest move in general, against the Granbull. The Gastrodon is 2 hit KO'd at plus 1, I believe. Um, Mega Slowbro, well, Gastron is very close. Mega Slowbro is uh, 2 hit KO'd at plus 2, not at plus 1. Uh, it can actually take it if it's max defense. Uh, Blissey is also O code from plus 1, if I'm not mistaken. Golbat is O code from plus 2. Uh, and Cryogonal is O code from me snapping an elastic band at it. So. Uh, that's pretty much our time random set of course Shuka might not work out because kit might be smart enough to run superpower on the Landorus T if it is scarfed instead of earthquake because it does hit a uh, fair number of Pokemon on my team better than earthquake does such as the Hydreigon and the Mamoswine so we'll see what happens there but uh, moving on, our next Pokemon here is Hydreigon. As you guys can see, uh, I, we don't have nicknames. I do have my uh, my scissors nick nickname, which is Edward. Edward for Edward Scissorhands, of course. Uh, we need nicknames for the rest of the Pokemon. I'm going to think of them throughout the week. I'm recording this on Tuesday, actually. So uh, this is uh, a team prepped far in advance because our draft was way ahead of when we were starting the... Uh, well, two weeks, roughly, ahead of when we were starting the league. So... Uh, week one, but uh, I still need some nicknames on this. I haven't had the time uh, to nickname my Pokemon. Hopefully these six will be named by the battle. But moving on, we have our Hydreigon here. Hydreigon puts in a ton of work, and I have to be extremely aggressive with this thing. We're rocking yet another Life Orb set, just like Mamoswine. This one's got Roost, Dark Pulse, Flamethrower, and Super Power. With the attack investment being 24 attack, we are able to Oko a Max Defense Bold Blissey from full all the time. Two hit KOs every time. It brings it down to about 35 to 38 uh, on the first hit and Oko's it, uh, well, knocks out with the rest of its HP on the next hit with Super Power. Dark Pulse of the is there, of course, to hit uh, General pretty much everything on her team outside of the Blissey. Uh, hits the Gastrodon hard, the Rotom Heat, the Landorus T, uh, the Kirim. It's uh, the strongest move we have for Kirim outside of Super Power. Uh, we also, uh, again, fighting stab is just, uh, fighting moves are just so good against her team. Um, also, it's the Cryogonal. Uh, Dark Pulse is mostly there for the Mega Slowbro so that it can't set up in front of me. I need the Dark, excuse me, the Dark Stab this week. I can't pass up on it, so that's why that's there. Roost, of course, is to get back our HP after Life Orb. Takes off some of it. Flamethrower is there, of course, for the Ferrothorn. It is the hardest hitting move I have against the Ferrothorn. And it pretty much knocks it out with... Uh, with a hasty nature, so as long as she's not rocking the Okaberry, which she could be. She could bring the Ferrothorn and rock the Okaberry. In my test game with Jar, he did not bring the Ferrothorn, uh, but he did bring uh, Choice Scarf Landorus with superpower, like I mentioned before. And um, you're about to see uh, the next Pokemon we're going to bring is actually a pretty good counter to a lot of her team. Uh, we're bringing an AV Slowbro. This is kind of inspired. Johnny had the original idea before the video even went up, but in um, Steve, Magnitude's team builder for week 8 of the GBA, he used a, an Assault Vest Slowbro to take on the Kirim Black uh, that his opponent had, which was uh, Nick, if I'm not mistaken, Super Blah. And uh, it worked out relatively well. Um, this one hits a little harder on the special side, so I can't let Slowbro take like... Uh, a U-turn from a la uh, max attack Landorus T. I won't be able to take a choice back Draco Meteor afterwards, but if Kirim gets a kill with like an Ice Beam, I can bring this thing in after and it's just it's fine. I can take any hit from it. And Grass Knot is there, of course, for the Gastrodon. It covers the... Uh, it also hits the Mega Slowbro. It's a two-hit KO on most variants of Mega Slowbro. It even has a chance to two-hit KO a max special defense, max HP. 
uh, Mega Slowbro from full, so it's really good for that. The Flamethrower, of course, for the Ferrothorn, for the Cryogonal, able to hit them both super effectively. Uh, Focus Blast is there for the Magnazone, for the Kirim, uh, for the uh, Ferrothorn as well, in case uh, it wants to switch in on us, thinking that it can. And Scald, of course, is there for the Landorus T. And just for getting general burns, it can also hit the Rotom Heat. So it's very good coverage overall. Not packing too much for the Grand Bull, but we do have our Scissor, which is max attack with uh, Bullet Punch, which after a bit of rock damage should be able to take out the Grand Bull even after an Intimidate. So this is our Slow Bro set. This is a really good set, actually. From Choice Scarf Magnazone, we only take 50% roughly from Thunderbolt, and we're able to knock it out back with a Focus Blast. Not necessarily a Flamethrower, I believe it's a roll. Focus Blast is an Oko. Uh, on the uh, on the Magnazone, so it can never really stay in on me if I'm at full health. That's what Regenerator is good for, man. It just gives you back all your health without having to invest a slot into uh, into packing slack off or anything like that, or having to wish pass into this thing, which is really nice. Our final Pokemon here is a mixed Thunderous set. Very nice Pokemon, Life Orb. Superpower again for the Blissey, for the Ferrothorn, be able to hit them super effectively. For the Cryogonal, we're actually running en enough speed to outspeed the, the max speed Cryogonal on my opponent's side, and I believe even at like minus two, minus three, even Superpower is able to take out Cryogonal, so I don't ever have to worry about that thing switching in on me. Grass Knot is again there for the Gastronaut, as we cannot hit it otherwise. Uh, we also it also hits the uh, the Mega Slowbro once again. It covers a switch into Landorus T if my opponent thinks I'm going for a Thunderbolt, which is nice. Uh, Defiant is also good because it'll raise the attack power of superpower and be able to uh, allow me to hit uh, the uh, the things that are weak to superpower afterwards extremely hard. So very nice uh, to have Defiant on there. It's a lot better than Prankster this week because I'm ca carrying four attacks, obviously. Grass Knot, uh, we already explained. Thunderbolt is there to hit the Mega Slowbro extremely hard, hit the Golbat. Uh, also does uh, good damage to anything she wants to switch in. It might not be the best move. I might not even pack it this week. It depends. Uh, Slowbro can potentially set up on me. Uh, I just don't want the Gold Bat walling me out completely. I do have Hidden Power Ice, but I don't think it would be enough. Knockoff is a very good option, though, because it's able to get rid of Scarfs and, and so on. So uh, get rid of Blissey's Leftovers, uh, Gold Bat's Eevee Lights. So uh, it's, a very, uh, it's a very good move. I might switch out uh, Thunderbolt for... A knockoff before the game because Thunderbolt honestly just doesn't hit enough and uh, Hidden Power Ice is there of course for the Land OT we cannot pack this set without packing Hidden Power Ice uh, or else I will not be able to hit the Landorus and it will be able to get a free switch on me every single time it comes in uh, and just if it is scarfed it'll knock me out with a uh, with a stone edge so uh, that's the set we're running 48 attack is very nice for being able to hit Blissey I believe it is also a two hit KO from this Pokemon it's got very similar attack to Hydreigon it's actually higher so it should be able to do more damage so that's uh, that's the team we're running. It's a very offensive team, and this is how I have to play my team this season, guys. I drafted one of the most offensive teams in the league, and I have to show it. I have to show up with a very offensive core every single week. I can bring defensive options like Yuxi, but for the most part, I'm going to be rocking teams like this and teams that my opponent, uh, my opponents are going to have a very hard time switching into each and every single one of my Pokemon every week unless they're running like straight up stall. So that's going to be the team builder this week, guys. Uh, as you can see, this one is actually shorter than the other one. I did have like a two minute uh, discussion at the end of the, the other team builder. This one should be coming up, uh, going up after it. But uh, for this team, it's, a, it's very straightforward. It's very self-explanatory what I want to do. I just want to break walls. I want to be able to hit everything for super effective damage and just annihilate them with this team so that's uh that's the game plan going into this again she can only bring six pokemon so if she brings blissey golbat ferrothorn gastrodon uh basically your entire defensive core we're gonna be ready for it we're gonna break it down and uh if she has no offensive threats then i'm not worried because my life one of my life orb pokemon uh out of the three that we have has roost uh the other two are just complete nukes so uh, that's the team, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Uh, let me know what you think of the team. Give me some nicknames for the Pokemon. Go and check the draft review video if you haven't already. If you, Even if you want to just scroll quickly through it to see what we have. Uh, I show the team at the end of the video anyway, so you can scroll to there as well. Give me a couple of nicknames for the, uh, for the Pokemon that we have if you can. Uh, again, I'm lacking on the creativity department, so uh, that's it. Leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see the battle tomorrow. If you want to see any of the lives that I update, any of these league matches... Uh, between the UPA and the GBA and uh, not the GBA <laughs> I wish the GBA but uh, no the NBA and uh, yeah that's it guys thanks again for watching I'll catch you guys in the battle tomorrow ciao